All right, guys. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create this form section where you can actually, you know, create forms, um, which, 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 we are, which we are gonna do in Webflow when we build that anyway. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just build this. Now, this is super simple. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is, as you can see, we're gonna be following this grid, same way as the one way that we did for Dribble, as you can see, a, we follow a 10 column layout, right? And, um, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and add some boxes and, you know, just wrap this up pretty quickly. I just want to start off by going and selecting these two information. I'm going to copy this and come down here and paste it. And uh, we're going to say, let's, whoops, get started. And uh, we're going to go ahead and copy this information and uh, paste this as well. Um, we're going to make sure that these two kind of start over here and they're 120 pixels from the top. So 120. Yep, there we go, 120 pixels, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and move this inside so so that these two are following five columns. And uh, the next one is we're gonna go ahead and create these boxes, uh, these input fields. So the title is just simple, 16 pixels paragraph. And then we've got this uh, box, which is around, uh, you know, which is like 50 pixels tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just copy this text and I'm gonna uh, make this 16 pixels paragraph 16 pixels and this is going to be paragraph 18 pixels and uh, this is going to be heading 55. I'm going to go ahead and call this name and uh, this is going to be white of course and cool and then we're going to create a rectangle which kind of takes up this entire space and we're going to make this 50 pixels and also going to change the color of this to be um, you know the level one color that we have and also the spacing of these two elements is going to be 8 pixels and that's great. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate group this and then we're gonna duplicate this. Now I'm gonna make this like 48 pixels at the from the top. Um, I think we're gonna make it 40. And uh, we can put this in an auto layout as well. So we can go ahead, right click and say auto layout. And uh, you know, we can just go ahead and keep duplicating this multiple times. So this is gonna be email and then I'm gonna select this group again, control C, control V, and this is gonna be message. So M-E-S-S-A-G-E -S -S -E. um, and we can go ahead and duplicate this again. So um, and message, I think this one we want it to be quite big. So as you can see, I set it to like 100 pixels. So I select this and set this to 100 pixels. And that's uh, pretty good. Now we can also add a button. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this button that we had created, the view all projects. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to select uh, this and just paste it over here. So it comes over here. And this one I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this to vertical so that I can go ahead and move this all over to the edge of the screen. And uh, we could remove the, uh, we can add a fill and we can say, let's get started. And uh, that's pretty cool, right? Auto layout makes life much easier. And then we'll select these two, press Control G. And then we want to make sure that this is 120 pixels from the top. And this is also 120 pixels from the top, right? And then you can select these two. And oh, I think we want to make sure that, right, this is, uh, let's actually select all these three. We don't want them to be touching the other edges. We kind of want them to be a bit inside. Yeah, there we go. Great. And now we can right click and say frame selection. And we can go ahead and move this over to the side and move this over up, right? So we've got 120 pixels. So we've got 100 pixels on the top and 120 pixels on the bottom. Super simple, super straightforward. And that's pretty much it. So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and create the footer section, which is gonna be super fun again. So I'll see you guys in the next video.